planes and all kinds of stuff when I think about NASA. But uh, Dave Belingit is the regional director of NASA. And I hope I got that right, Dave. Yep. But welcome and happy holidays to you. Thanks, Kurt. Uh, happy holidays to you as well. Okay. Everybody knows about the SCCA. Uh, vintage racing. I mean, there's lots of stuff. Why NASA? And I remember when I was in Northern California in the early 90s hearing NASA. Uh, you guys had races at Altamont Speedway, the same Altamont Speedway that's famous for the, the whole Rolling Stones things way back when, when I was a kid. But why NASA? Why this concept? And, and why here in Colorado? Well, there's lots of other sanctioning bodies out there. And as you know, not exactly one situation is perfect for everybody. So I think we just off, offer one more alternative, a little bit different. Would you, would you say that, that um, as opposed to nostalgia, vintage racing, which is focused on um, vintage or nostalgia-based race cars, the Sports Car Club of America tries to, to cater to everybody, but you're kind of taking a different approach in the, in the sense you're kind of a, sh a smorgasbord uh, of, uh, in terms of a promoter or a sanctioning body. You can kind of run what you bring. You got something for everybody? Right, and it's not just limited to our track events. I mean, we cover drifting as well as um, rally, but... Our focus, especially here in the Rocky Mountain region, is our track events. Um, not just road racing, but also what we call HPD, which is High Performance Driving Education. That allows basically anybody to come bring a street car that's in, in good condition out to the track. For about 150 bucks a day, you bring your car, your helmet. We pop one of our uh, trained instructors in the, in the passenger seat. They show you the line. They show you everything about being safe on the track and all the instruction that goes with that. And then hopefully the, the thought is that we hook those people, bring them up into the ladder all the way up through our racing program. And then we've had a lot of guys go on to professional racing, say Grand Am Cup and that sort of thing. We've had um, another area we specialize in is younger kids. Most sanctioning bodies due to regulations, that sort of thing, won't let anybody race that's younger than say 18 or 16. Right. We actually have kids that are as young as 14, 13 that come out of the karting ranks that have been racing five, six, seven, eight years. Now this is an interesting because yeah, uh, Bob Boyle was on the show um, earlier this year and he has an extremely talented youngster, I believe 14, mm -hmm. and he's going to start off doing NASA in 2008. Um, so not only can someone bring a streetcar and, and learn the proper line, the proper techniques and such, but they also, or they, you offer uh, an alternative, but you can also get your kids involved sooner. And if they don't want to stay with the karting path and go, they go, want to go into, as I call it, real race cars, they can do so. Yeah, it's definitely a great step for kids like that because they're able to continue that. And when they're ready to jump out of carts, we'll evaluate them, get them into a race car. And as you know, the earlier you start, that's going to help your career so much no, more. So No, no doubt. Uh, and for 2008, your venues are, are where here in the Rocky Mountains? Well, primarily we're focused on Pueblo Motorsports Park while we're waiting for High Plains and Genoa Motorsports. Um, we'll be heading off to Hastings, Nebraska again, great track. Mm -hmm. I have another date in mid-June at Miller Motorsports Park, and that'll be one of our big ones. We'll have cars coming from all over the West Coast. We have cars coming from the East Coast into the Midwest as well. So Let's say someone's watching this, they've got a five liter Mustang, a 1995 sitting in the garage. Uh, they got a driver's suit or a helmet, they can get a hold of one. What else do they need to have to come and actually be legal to do your events? Well, actually, so as long as it's in, safe street conditions so regular so seat belts kind of yeah, stuff, yeah it's similar to an autocross tech so the, i mean the the wheel bearings can't be loose you can't have your right. tires flying apart and you have to have you know seat belts that are safe uh, and that sort of thing but no special roll cage and actually it's just a helmet required so as right. long as you've got a good a newer style helmet that's that pass through tech you mentioned drifting and rally how does that because uh, i mean how does that work into the whole nasa philosophy the whole model it, it's really, it's in its different chapters, and it's like you said, a smorgasbord of, of different things. Um, say drifting, and that's where we get a lot of our, our new and upcoming racers. You know, they get a little bit hooked on drifting and say, oh, I want to try some track events, but they're not quite ready to make that jump of spending $20,000 for a race car and buying all the safety equipment. So that's where we hook people from drifting and bring them in. And then same with rally. I think there's a lot of cross oh, back and forth, down. especially in the area. Yeah, this whole, the whole drifter, the whole tuner um, genre, the whole thing. And, it, and it's, it's very popular and it's coming up very, very quickly. Uh, as we wrap the segment up, uh, people want to know more. How do they get in touch with you? What, what's the deal? Best way to get a track uh, hold of us is our website, which is www.nasarockymountain.com. Okay. And all our other contact information, regular snail mail and email addresses are so on So best thing is well. go through the website, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, that's the easiest place to find it. So. All right. 